Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Tata and Boeing has entered into a joint venture called Tata Boeing Aerospace Limited TBAL in 2016 to manufacture fuselages for Apache AH-64 attack helicopters. TBAL's 14,000 square meter Hyderabad facility has been delivering AH-64 Apache fuselages since May 2018. Now back in June 2021 the 100th fuselage for Apache was delivered to Boeing by TBL This was accomplished within 3 years of Telangana based facility being operational and has placed it as a part of global supply chain for Apache helicopters The advanced manufacturing facility will eventually become the sole producer of H64 fuselages in the world with 90% of part sourced from indian suppliers on 19th january 2023 tbal has delivered the first fuselage for apache attack helicopters ordered by the indian army from its state of art facility in hyderabad the helicopter is undergoing final assembly integration as of now it's also worth noting the desert camo of the apache for indian army which looks quite stunning On 16th August 2023, Boeing has informed that the production has started for Apache A64 attack helicopters for Indian Army at Boeing's Arizona site. But talking about the Apache deal, the Indian Ministry of Defense has sanctioned the procurement of 39 Apache A64 attack helicopters from US. Indian Air Force has already procured 22 Apache India and US signed another contract for acquisition of six more Apache for Indian Army during the US President Donald Trump's visit to New Delhi. There has been delay in deliveries of these helicopters due to COVID pandemic and now it is scheduled to commence from early 2024 onwards. Now talking about the Apache AH-64E capability as we all know it is the world's most advanced multi-role multi-mission combat helicopter it is considered as a flying tank which can virtually take on any mission the apache features composite rotor blades which is designed to withstand hits from 23mm anti-aircraft guns the airframe is designed to withstand hits from guns of up to 12.7mm caliber each apache can be armed with a 16 anti tank hellfire missile 76 hydra 70 mm rockets and a 30 mm chain gun with 1200 rounds for self defense against hostile helicopters the apache can carry up to 2 aim 9 sidewinder 4 aim 92 stinger or 4 mistral air to air missiles it can also carry 2 agm 122 side arm air to ground anti radiation missiles that can target the hostile radars now the most distinctive feature of apache is the long bore radar it is the fire control radar for tracking and targeting the vehicles it gives the capability to fire agm 114 r hellfire 2 anti tank guided missiles in fire and forget mode without this radar the hellfire 2 missiles can be launched but in line of sight manner the radar can detect classify and prioritize up to 12 targets simultaneously and has capability to see through the fog and smoke that foils the infrared or tv sensors it is especially designed to enable apache to engage enemies armor from concealment or where the armor is hiding If there are no surface to air missile threat then these radars are basically a dead weight so taking off radar saves the weight and in turn it increases the speed and range of the helicopter now this is the reason why not all apaches of indian air force are equipped with long bow fire control radar this was today's update please let us know your views on this in comment section If you like the video do not forget to like share and subscribe with this i would like to say goodbye and jai hind we'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector